Summer camp entrance, Dylan. Oh, Don't worry, this, Jacob. Loser. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So, oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. <laughs> I think he's it's gay. Okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag. Bro, thank you. stop. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big. Oh she can take care gosh. of her own bag. Thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's an L, dude. Get over her, bro. Cool. She's an L. Ugh. Nudge. Fuck it. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... <laughs> Get that one, boy. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Nick, you gonna lay the pipe on every girl, bro? No cap. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here, Ryan. Oh. What were you doing under there? Oh, that's Having right. Having a little knee party. Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. Podcast, nice. That's cool. What's it about? Positive. Uh, I'm gonna say friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Hell yeah, fine yeah, ass. There's a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You yeah, man. about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, yeah, man. Did, would I be asking she got a big deal, bro. Her deal big. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Hag single slasher, man. Hag singing, it's singing just slasher. It's a campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. Uh oh, they saw the smoke. She the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Ah, uh, damn. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> right here, bro. Cool story, bro. You should have seen the kids defensive better in yours. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> I like him. You it's cool. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. That guy, that guy's an L2. Hey, hey, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Hell no. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Uh-oh. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Aw, oh, man, we're staying. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Uh oh. Okay. Yo, Mr. H. 
What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. All right, I'm sent Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Yeah, chill out, bro. It's all good. The hag slinging slasher, man. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Oh, of course, the phone rings. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I really want to know, but I don't want him to know. I'm going to just be a good little scout. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. I didn't want him to walk as like my ears at the door or something. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Do it for family, bro. Dang it. He lost the keys. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Chill out, bro. Can you get some opal? So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Uh, I'm huh. getting sent home. I'm fired. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? I'll be apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a oh, big being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? Kumbaya. What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. And I, I want to know why. Why, bitch? Tell me. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. He's hiding something. He knows. What's going on here, bitch? Just give me a minute. Good goddamn, are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? 
Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. They're gone. The hacking slash got him, man. It's okay. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> Why is he walking like that? How old is he? Like 40? Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> Damn. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Oh, yeah. Uh, this bitch no, sold the roller. I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude. It's just like kaput. All right. Let me try. What a bitch boy. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. This guy's a L, bro. Fuck. Shit. Come on. Right, dude, Come on. Chill. I forgot. Chill, Let's dude. He did that lame-ass shit for a girl? Hell no. Nah. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is. Does it? Oh my gosh, chill out, bro. Damn it! Fuck that. What's his name, Jacob? He's an L, bro. Hell no. Nah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. He knows something. Something's going up. He knows. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. What the hell is he doing? Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Is he leaving us? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Nah, Jacob and the other bitch are going out. Fuck them. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. He knows some bro just. Drive all of them in there. What the fuck? Wait, is he dead? That was that was the abandoned so, car in the beginning. He might be. I don't think he's what dead. What was that about? He uh said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Fuck no, bro. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside. Until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. Or Jay. What are you talking about? I'm getting that bitch killed, but I don't give a fuck. What Both of them bitches. About? No Mr. Hackett. No screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck no. Shut the fuck up. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? 
Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. We're gonna. I'm a bitch, you're dying. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. Fine ass. What do you say? Mm. Bitch. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Show bitch ass up, you're dying. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um. Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Okay. Why would he want to scare us? I'm gonna say he seemed freaked out. For I don't us. think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah. Dude, but he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Fuck off. Uh, I'm gonna say dismiss it. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. I'm keeping Ryan alive. All right, Ryan, all right, all Abigail, right. and Brenda. Tears. Party planning that bitch can die. This. Fuck um, off. Okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the store. Shut for some the supplies. hell up, bro. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Fuck no. He's a L. She's a L. Hell no. Uh oh. Who the hell is sniping at us? Shoot him. Shoot that bitch right there. Do it. Do it. Shoot him. Are those cannibals? Why is he all bloody, bro? I'm probably gonna have the gameplay down because I don't wanna get copyrighted. I don't know if this was copyrighted, like songs. The gameplay is gonna be a little bit down. I'm gonna just be talking over it. So yeah, man, how's your day going today? Hunting season, ah shit. Oh, I think they're cannibals. He should have killed that, bro. He should have killed him. Jacob, what a L. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. See more. See more. See, let's see what you got. I was hoping you'd say that. What do you got, bitch? Oh, I got an achievement. Four wound is four wound. Get a temporary. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards.